This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043. Formerly of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, he is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with them, the youngest person to ever be inducted to the hall, beating out Stevie Wonder, actually, which is amazing. Uh, He is now with Pearl Jam and also Eddie Vedder's Earthlings, who I saw at the Beacon Theater back in February. Many other projects, including Plural One, with a new album out now called This Is The Show. All the info at PluralOne.org. Josh Klinghoffer, how are you, man? All right, very well. Thank and walking you. in here, I realized, yes, I did interview you once before, a long time ago, like 12 years ago. I think I must have been in L.A. Um, you have played probably everywhere in the world at this point, but you played the Garden last night. Uh, you played Madison Square Garden with Pearl Jam on September 11th. So tell us about last night. Well, uh, they Get on that mic. Yeah, yeah they... Uh... As I, you know, as expected, they brought it uh, incredibly, and um, you know, I think, I think, I think through Eddie was trying to figure out when the right moment to address the calendar was, right? And, um, yeah, you know, and I think he just couldn't help it. A couple songs in, he he stopped a song, and and he was uh, he was moved to just kind of center everyone and you know call attention to it. And I think from that moment on, you know, the emotion in the room went even higher than it already was to begin with which is you know it's i i i've been a a pearl jam listener uh since i was 11 years old man yeah Yeah, and since their first album came out like the week it came out and um but i'd never seen them or uh you know i or at the at the garden or i'd never i don't even think you know her i heard much um stories or or recordings of them at the garden i know they're always legendary shows but i mean that was special to be in the room there oh absolutely and plural one warms up before pearl jam and then you play with pearl jam after that yeah you got a long night man (laughs) warmed it up coolly (laughs) (laughs) uh and the plural one set is that just you it's not clint your 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 sort of producing uh partner no he he actually threatened to come to the garden just because i think he was uh he was trying to check off all the 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 big market uh bucket list deals he he came he, he joined me on stage at the forum in la okay but um didn't didn't make it last night, um, and gosh, now I wish I ha- he had. Because I, um, you know, I, I've been having a lot of fun opening for them. At first, I was mortified. Because of course, I mean, hello. I'm up there by myself. Yeah, <laughs> and that was, and some toys and some guitars, toy, right? I yeah, mean, toys and guitars, which is not, um, you know, that's kind of what I surround myself with all the time. Yeah, at home. But these particular toys and how they're hooked up to each other, I just haven't had a ton of time to master yet, just because. I mean, it's probably procrastination and laziness, and you know, just and just being focused on other things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, um, you know, like I, I when we started this run, I looked at my setup and I was like, I I couldn't remember how to use it at all. So I, you know, but it. it uh, whereas in the past that would have, you know, caused quite a bit of dread. I'm just sort of having a good time, you know, winging it and figuring it out, rehearsing on stage almost, which I think is uh, quite a quite a jump from the shy person who would have who would have never dreamed of such a thing well that's pretty awesome of pearl jam to let you do that too yeah no, i mean I, that is quite an opportunity you're playing all these huge arenas i mean you're used to arenas obviously with chili peppers but i mean just to open up by yourself in front at a pearl jam show is uh, it's got to be fantastic you got a lot of uh you got a lot of fannies in the seats as they say yeah well i mean i think the cool thing about it is that i was in I was in that front row many a time, you know, like, so I know exactly what it's like to sort of wait hours before the show and run to the front when the door opens. So, right. you know, I've seen, I saw X, I, that's what I joked the other night, um, that I'm quite a different, uh, opening act than X or the Ramones or Mudhoney who I saw. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Frank Black. I saw. Oh man. Um, uh, so I played a Ramones song that night, but yeah, I mean, you know, people have been, um, very, very uh, gracious and supportive. And- Josh Klinghoffer is with us uh, talking about Plural One, his uh, band, in addition to him uh, being on tour with Pearl Jam. I read that sometimes you worry that you smile too much when you're on stage with Pearl Jam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad thing, though. No, 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 no. But it's it's funny because, I, I mean, I've never, I mean, everything I've ever done um, from project to project or tour to tour or situation to situation has been different. So, you know, even how you move on stage, I, um, which has always been totally natural for me. Um, in this situation, I, I can't move as much as I generally do. 
because I'm on a riser and I can find space. But one thing I, I've always loved to do, and I think it's really, uh, you know, solely about is, is, you know, sort of just having as much fun as you can with the people that you're on stage with. And I did that all day long with Chad in particular and the Chili Peppers. Like, you know, I started out as a drummer. So every little, I mean, and he, and he's, you know, like the entire show, Chad Smith is kind of reinventing how he plays the songs. Every, everything is, you know, a little different than it was last time. And every time he threw in something extra saucy, I, I couldn't help but just Well, of course. Look. Yeah. So we were always kind of smiling at each other and winking at each other. And now I'm on um, the same side of the stage as Mike McCready and, and Jeff Amon. And, you know, so especially with Mike, because he's kind of twirling around and looking back a lot and um, yeah i i just you know we, we're making each other laugh the whole time kinda tell like me about it. the songs on uh plural one were these written pre pre-pandemic during the pandemic after recently um they were they were mostly written uh i guess during the pandemic for the most part uh I'm trying to think there might be one that predated it but um yeah they, it was it was all a quick burst of inspiration uh born of the possibility of doing a collaboration again with the band dot hacker that i had yeah, sort yeah. of you know a few years before um we did one song the four of us remotely cuz that's how it was done in those you know that at that period and then uh yeah all those songs were 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 written kind of in a couple weeks and that you know for the most part they were begun and then i um when the idea of doing it as a four piece collaborative uh, project sort of dissolved and it became just Clint and myself. Um, I, I came to New York actually for a couple months and finished off the writing. Yeah. And yeah, and they were, so it was recorded throughout that year, 2021, which was enormously, uh, convenient for me because while Clint was hard at work on, on the songs at his house in his studio, I was able to, I was free to make the record with Eddie and yeah, do a bunch of other recording. Last well, I year. wanted I want to talk about that timeline, and you tell me if I've got this right. Uh, it was an interesting time for you. Uh, the word prolific comes to mind my mind actually. Um, you find out you're no longer in the Chili's. You you can talk about that if you want. Uh, but then the pandemic hits. You then start working with Pearl Jam like pretty quickly. Um, also working on Eddie Vedder's solo band uh, with Chad Smith, ironically working on a Morrissey album an Iggy Pop album, and all at the same time, plural one songs, writing, recording. That is, I, yeah, prolific, I would say. Oh, good. I've got, yeah, I mean, I'm, I've... Did I have I, the timeline correct there? Or? Almost. Okay. I, I mean, um, the, Morrissey, the Morrissey album was the first thing that I did in 2021. So the, um, the and the Chili Peppers, um, I, I left that band on December 15th of, 20, of 2019. Okay. Spoke with Eddie about joining their their next tour which was supposed to start in the spring right yeah so so start rehearsed you know did all the rehearsals and i think the gear was halfway to the east coast <laughs> that gets called off the the um the world shuts down made another plural one album during the pandemic and then you know for me 2020 was very um productive just in terms of you know having space finally not being on the road yeah getting a lot of time writing. yeah time and getting a lot of writing done and um, that doing the kind of growth as a writer, just, you know, not always feeling like, oh, I don't have time to finish this. You know, it was right. nothing but focus for me. So then 2021 rolls around and, it you know, I think January 4th, we started working on that Morrissey stuff. Myself, Andrew Watt, Chad Smith. And, um, you know, that was such a blessing for me to be able to play with Chad again. And the way, the way we record over at Andrews, we're, we're as close as we are now. Like you, you'd be Andrew, I mean, you'd be Chad, I'm here and Andrew's right there. Yeah. And uh, so that's just kind of a, a rarity these days in itself, live recording that close. And when will we hear something from the Morrissey that's album? That's a great question. I, we I, don't know. I, I can't answer that. <laughs> I, I wish I could. Did you enjoy it? Did you like oh, the enormously. songs? I mean, what was he like to work with? Well, he was great. He, I mean, it was an odd way of working in the sense that um, again, because of the way the world was at that time and there wasn't a lot of, no one was traveling and, you know, I think generally Morrissey, he, he, his band members, whoever's in the band at that time, submit songs to him and they write them, you know, or he writes to them. Then they get together as a band and make a record in a live band kind of way. In And lately in some, you know, kind of sexy, exotic place like Paris or Rome yeah. or something. But because of the pandemic, um, uh, Morrissey happened to be in Los Angeles. Someone put him and Andrew Watt in touch, and uh, 
it was basically like Morrissey was amazing. He he uh, he showed Andrew the songs that he had written, and then basically, um, yeah, just because no one was traveling and they, he couldn't get the band together, he said, "Well, you know, do let, you know? Let's try it. Do whatever you want to do. You just like, don't touch my vocal and don't rearrange my lyrics, and that's out of the question. But other than that, just give anything a shot." And you know. So he wasn't there during the day a lot of the time. It was just the three of us. And then Jesse Tobias uh, from oh. Morrissey's band came by, played a bit. And um, every every day we'd work on a new song and, and Morrissey would come downstairs. And, you know, we were all a little nervous and we would hit play. And he'd basically be hearing his own song back to him, often quite different than he last heard it. Right, yeah. And, and he, you know, I, I mean, and I've been a fan of his since, Oh God. Yeah. you know, forever and um johnny marr too obviously yeah yeah no, I, um and and he he was just uh you know i i'm i'm uh <laughs> proud to say he was just blown away with what he was hearing so that was just for us it was so gratifying it was like it was for the next day's work it was like wow i mean we got that response from him last night let's let's try and do you think it. he's happy now that the queen is dead sorry i had yeah, to no, say well, i was gonna you know I, it's funny because i have no gripe with the queen oh me because i'm not english yeah. but i am an anglophile so i've all you know because i'm removed I, it's anything england i try and keep up on but I, I was wondering if had i been from over there what my feelings would oh, be about right, it so but i was yeah. thinking what you, you, just being um having the opportunity to play that song on stage in you know, what is technically still part of the Commonwealth to a degree in Canada. Yeah. I just thought, right. what a moment, what a moment. And I, and I took a little poll, a very little poll two two people. And it was a split decision. One person said, you know, you, you better have played it because he got to back to me late. And the other person said, ah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. And so I, 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 I went, I, I, I chose caution. Uh, okay, <laughs> good. Josh, I think the current single and correct me if I'm wrong is, um, Fight for the Soul, correct? Yeah, correct. Uh, and you shot a video for that, I think, in L.A. or is that where it was? Or? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was shot in L.A. I worked with we, um, a, a good friend of my sister's, uh, who who I knew has done video work for a long time, and I would kind of always kept him in mind. He was very. It's good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it came out very well. I, I um. I had written him a long email about doing one for the last album I did the year before, and just I, you know, I'm I'm good at coming up with a, a few ideas and sending off that email, but I'm not the best at whatever <laughs> happens next between that moment and the making it, ha uh, you know, the shoot starting. So, um, this time, being aware of that, I uh, I followed through a little bit with nice with, with the help of some some good people the fenway recording company That's yes right. indeed uh well listen thank you so much for coming by thank you for um, having me continued success and good health obviously on this uh, pearl jam tour and the plural one sets uh in advance of the pearl jam shows again it's josh klinghoffer you can get all the info info on plural one at plural one.org you should go out and get the new album this is a show it's fantastic uh josh thank you so much man no no thank you i can't thank you enough this is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043.